and one minute to go. Don't see them anymore. Or not anymore. I don't see them yet, do I? It doesn't rain here, does it? Oh. Um. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, enforcement platform. I get it. Jesus. Survivor, uh -oh. we see you. Uh, Man, I don't know how you held out down there. No! We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Bad idea! Is that a building down there? Yeah. <clears throat> what do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, God. Hold on. There's no turning back Jeez. now. Positions, everyone. Oh, Touching down. Man. Ten. Nine. Eight. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. <sighs> yep. We all saw that coming, didn't we? Damn it! Hmm. There goes our hopes and dreams. Yeah. Yeah, you go back to what you whatever. Whatever you were doing. <sighs> I gotta hand it to you. You have a really dramatic siren. Kind of cool. So, I'd, I had been going around the island earlier, while I still had the time, and uh, I found myself a couple of things, and filled my inventory with them. Lots of lithium. That's um it's always good. We're gonna need the um plasteel ingots. So let's take a little peek here. I I went into the water over here. Don't don't go in, in the water over here. Lots of screamy boys. So, uh, we are screwed. So, turns out that base we're building is um, going to be plenty useful. We wouldn't have a game if we didn't need it, so. Uh, yeah, sure. Gold, it's okay has its uses as well. So I'd come over here and found out there was this tunnel and um, we can go in here, go up there. This is basically a loop here. 
and uh, nothing down there, just a cave. And this. Whatever this is. I went back to wait for the sunbeam. And, uh, yeah. Insert ion cube. Let's. Look, Ma, I made myself a Stargate. Um, oh, that doesn't sound right. <sighs> okay, for science. Um, phase gate, I guess. It's what we're going with. And, um... We are very far away from our base. So, if that's the case, I can only assume we are... Well, the, there's only one other landmass that we've come across and um, going with the uh, mushrooms and other th hints yeah, the sound is a nice tell this is that bay we arrived at this is the island where we found the remains of the Degasi base. The first Degasi base, mind you. And, um, yeah. Awesome. We need to find that place as long as we're here, because, um, I could do with a couple more things. Or at least one thing that I forgot to scan. Might as well show you. We have our blueprints here. And um, one of the bl blueprints we can get here is... Not the scanner room. The indoor grow bed. And it's in one of the observatories. I'm not sure if it's the first one here, but we're finding out. I'm not leaving without it. So, I'm gonna check this one. If it's not, I'll cut ahead. Skip to whenever we find it. And here we are. Yep. Indoor grow bed. Nice. Gotcha. Now, um, how did we get back to the portal again? I'm getting turned around, you see. Come on, don't do this to me. Okay, now, will this take me back to the other portal, or will this take me someplace else? Hoping it's a two-way street. Uh, yep. Okay, 
Good. Run, run, run. Jesus. Vital signs stabilizing. It's interesting because I hear a Reaper Leviathan, I do not see a Reaper Leviathan, and it it's kind of freaky. Like, I know he's further down after that building, because I've seen him. But, um, Welcome no, aboard, he's Captain. nowhere to be seen around here, apparently. Or... I'm totally wrong and one of them staring me dead in the face and I don't see him. In which case, I'm out. These guys are being creepy as well. Nothing here. This area is relatively safe actually. I mean, the entry point to the islands biome, or the mountain's biome, as it's called. That's the uh, mountain's biome. This one here is the floating island biome. And uh, we're actually pretty close to a couple of more biomes I'm, I'm aware of. By the way, we can just do this. So we've been around here, over here, over here, and using this mod, you can select the biomes, and these are the biomes we've been in. So the gray one is the safe shallows, where we start the game. The pod usually only falls within an area within the safe shallows. Then you have the kelp forest, the grassy plateaus, where we found our first big wreck. Right here. Or... Uh, whoa, LifePod 17 is here. Yeah, so this one. And the island is on a biome called the Grand Reef. But this one's pretty deep. We need to invest some resources and make an improvement or an upgrade on our upgrades for the Icarus, our Seamoth. Before we do that, though, I'm going to store some items and grab a bit of uh, titanium. And um, I think I think we could um, improve our habitat a little bit, since we are going to stay here, apparently. Um, yeah, we can always invest some time in making this house a home or this base a home so dropping items dropping more items we already have a lot of titanium but something tells me it's not going to be nearly enough uh, also I just noticed we still have the radiation helmet on, and uh, I think it's worth switching with Rebreather, since we're not going to be hurting by uh, radiation. Also, gnomes. go and um, yeah let's actually we do have the resources don't we let's start off by building a separate multi-purpose room multi-purpose room yeah nice now, we could 
We can. We are doing. <laughs> we are taking the hatch and placing it in, in here or on here. Now we have an actual compartment for ourselves or for habitation purposes. Um, this is where the this is where the fabricator is relative to our position, so this is where the vases are downstairs. So we're building this ladder right here. Yep. There we go. Now, we do not need a window on this floor. We need this floor to be sturdy. It's where our uh, this is where our power generation occurs, so we need to protect this bit. Which means um, reinforcements. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we still have Meldal Salvage and EasyCraft, the mods um, that allows us to use the resources with, from within the boxes. It converts um, Metal Salvage into Titanium straight, which means that this, despite telling me it has only two pieces of Titanium, because that's it's technically true, um, it means I can still build these parts because I'm converting Metal Salvage into Titanium automatically. There you go. Now, put one here. And these are going to add a lot of integrity to the structure. So, 17.5 points is pretty damn good. Take this. Take this. I mean, it's our... It's for our little nook here. And uh, I think we've earned ourselves the right to have a bed and a big bed. Right? Nothing too fancy. There's another double bed model in the uh, Aurora. I've missed that. But or I missed that. What? I need fiber mesh. Oh. Ah, that's fine. Fiber mesh is done with this. Pretty fine. So right here, right here, and oh, actually, what am I doing? I have the resources, so there we go. It just used the items I picked up just now and applied them. Now, since this is our little room, we could use a couple of windows here. And that's exactly what we're doing. One, two, and, uh, I mean, there's not much to see here. This is going to be... Usable area, this as well, so... Actually... Like so... And like so... There. I could do this. But, uh, it is a bit... I mean... I like the observatory, but, um... Yeah, it needs to be made on a straight line. And, uh, I'm not so sure I want to. Yeah, these, um... These walls here aren't the best for this application, so... We're making a window here, 
And we might as well... I mean... Uh... Can we? Can we actually do that? Can we build a, something from here? Seems that way, doesn't it? Nah, let's not dwell on this too, too much. This is good. We have a panoramic window to the sea. Right. This is good. This is appropriate. Now, we have a few things that we can put here. Uh, like... Uh, like a wall shelf. Huh? Let's put the wall shelf above the bed. Yeah, sure. You'll see why, what this is for. And, um, a counter. Why not? This is aesthetics. And only aesthetics. It's, I mean, it looks pretty. It looks nice. I like it. It's, it's staying. Um, coffee vending machine. Right here. See? You look like you could use some coffee. You know what? I could, little buddy. You fix me up that coffee. Now... Mm -hmm. So this one's assigned to number 9 already. Where can we put this? Thank you. Okay. So... I think... This? This? Yeah. And um, we had other things. I, I want to get this out of the way, so that was kind of the point of all this. Not the whole room, of course, just, you know, this part. Number zero for our gorge toy. It doesn't fit here, so bam. As for the cap. Rotating this cap is um, the work of the devil, so you know what? I'm not too demanding. It stays right there. And um, yeah, the duffel bag we have can go right there and it can placed right around there. See? It's all working out. It's starting to look a little bit like a home someone, someone would live in. Yeah. See? Nice. And look at that. Mm. We have a hat right there. We have a stair right here. I could move these plants upward. Don't need to do much for that. Where are the pots? There we go. Only have this one. Hmm. You'd think I I'd have a couple more by now. There are three models to scan that I remember. I think that's just, that's all, yeah. I think there are just three. And I could be using this one, the indoor grow bed, but it takes a lot of space and, uh, you know, only feel right here. Don't want it to ruin the view. Not that we're going to enjoy it all that much. We do have things to do, right? But it's good to have a second set of plants available. 
Okay, now. We've done all of this. Oh. Oh, actually. These are just resources, so I'm keeping... Uh. What are you? Oh. Um. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I think it's official. I'm seeing things. Just getting items uh, and okay. I've caught something's attention, didn't I? There's nothing outside, is there? Doesn't seem to be. Let's put these things right here. You don't really need all of this. Ramp. So, yeah, we're taking it. We have these batteries. I don't need that. Could use that. Mmm, coffee. See? It looks a little tidy. Er? Kinda. Right, um, batteries, 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 all of these batteries, yeah, we have messages, I think we have stuff in, um, our Seamoth storage, yes we do, we can put another of these, just another one, the beacon, sure, Tablet, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Right, uh, in the meantime, by the way, we do have these upgrades and we have the Seamoth Death Module Mark 1. So, it went from 200 to 300, I believe, with the first upgrade. Yeah. So, let's try to, to improve on that. Okay, I'm curious. Go on. Land pre-recorded distress call. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. Um, codes and clues. Oh, we need to check this out in the meantime. We'll we'll get there. LifePod 6 transmission origin. So this is somewhere in the grassy plateaus. And it's a kilometer away from the crash site. So it's got to be somewhere around here, I believe. Couldn't be here, could it? Let's see. Coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Sunk 100 meters. So, grassy plateaus. Good. Located in an area. Okay, still grassy plateaus. There are a number of natural arches and rock stacks. 400 meters west, northwest of Life Pod 4's known location. Okay. What Life Pods have we collected this lifetime? 2, 13, 19, 17, and 3. So, because we don't have Life Pod number 4, we really can't um, ascertain the exact location of the. Of life pod six it's probably somewhere you know what i'm not gonna try to guess it 
I just don't know. I'll get to it when I get to it. Not gonna bullshit around, am I? So, uh, place these items in here. I'm not being very cautious about placement, because it really doesn't matter much. These are storage units. That's it. Modification station. Seamoth upgrades. Now, Plasti ingot, magnetite, enameled glass. Uh, we need to get magnetite. Christ. Um, magnetite. Magnetite. If I recall correctly, I happen to know that magnetite is somewhere in the underwater islands biome. This can go quite deep, but I think we, um, I think we can manage. So let's try this. By the way, sorry, Mark II takes two magnetite, one plasteel ingot, enameled glass, and the original module, sure. Mark III takes another plastic ingot and three rubies. Ah, rubies and magnetite. I think those are found in the same areas, so good on us. Let's put this back. And I said put this back, yeah. We really don't need to have all of these batteries on us. So oh, the scanner is probably doing okay, yep. Repair tool hasn't been used, so fine, and maybe this one? <laughs> no. We're doing great on batteries, so let's just put these back. Actually, we're going to put the batteries back in the box. And we are going to have a drink. Put this here and eat. There we go. Just another one. Yep. There we go. Good. Onwards. Nothing else, right? Right. Um, storage is clean here. Yep. No water. I have to make some when I get back. Right, All so Underwater Islands is right across this place with all of these assholes. I swear to God, these guys are annoying. You'll see what I mean. Right, magnetites going down. Oh, hi. Uh, that roar, by the way, means that we're being... No, it didn't. <laughs> Hello there. Drill arm fragments. Nice. 50%. Okay, go on. Hello there. What's all this mess? Jesus. Hi. Okay. Jesus. Um, okay, let's take the seam off. 
place it somewhere like, like so. Lights on. Yeah, I think it's safer this way. Right. Door. Lights. Scandals. Please. Easy to open door. Good. Um, let's try not to get electrocuted. Oh, and another plant pot. So, already reaping the re the rewards. <laughs> reaping the reward. Um. Okay. Propulsion arm fragment. Good. Another one at 50%. Ooh. Power cell charger. Now, this I like. Power cells are the bread and butter for powering the Seamoth, the prawn suit, even the Cyclops. So, we, we really do want to have that specific blueprint sooner rather than later. And here we go. The rebreather, by the way, is coming in very handy at this point. We have to be very cautious with the with our oxygen. And uh, dying sucks. Yeah, I think we can all agree on that. Cyclops fire suppression system. Pretty good. Pretty good. We could invest in the Cyclops, and we will have to when we uh, make the prawn suit eventually. But uh, we have time. Prawn suit fragment. Uh, play the terminal. PRAWN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. Um, I think it's kind of embarrassing that they have to have instructions like that, but okay. I'm not judging. Maybe this is like Prawn Suit Operation 101. Right. Oxygen. Back in. Lights. And between the upgraded fins, the tank and the rebreather, we're pretty much as close to a fish as we can probably get. Right, now we need to open this door. I wish I had a... I wish there existed an upgrade for the... Uh, laser cutter. Sadly, I don't think there is anything like that. Oh, hello. Another grappling arm fragment. This is actually pretty damn awesome. And what are you? Swim charge fins. Oh. Nice. Not quite as useful as the fins we have now, but useful nonetheless. Right, anything else uh, worth, worth checking out here? No. Another door that opens towards... The vast open ocean. Yes, okay. No vents, no anything, really? 
could have sworn there. There's a vent around here somewhere. Or maybe I'm just not looking right. Mm, nope. Looks like this is it. And there was only that one fragment of the power cell power cell charger, so that's um a bit disappointing, but I'm sure we'll find another one. Oh, and by the way, we do not have Oh, this is the uh, Damn it. This is for the Cyclops. We already have the Cyclops. We need another fragment for the scanner room. That's what I was thinking about. It's the good old scanner room. And right now I'm just looking around. Just checking in. Yeah, there's shale outcrops here, which would make sense. This is close to the mountains, aka Screamy Boy Factory. Um, but there's also supposed to be magnetite here. I'm mistaking things, am I? Am I? Am I not? Thirty yep. seconds. <laughs> I may be mistaken, actually. But there is one thing I know we can find here. Or maybe I'm mistaken on that too. Hmm. I thought I could find rubies here. <sighs> Sad. Anyway. These um, bone sharks aren't being very aggressive, which is actually surprising. They usually follow you to the edge of the earth if they have to, just to get a nibble. But they're not doing anything. Am I not worthy of your bites anymore, good sirs? Oh well. Less repairing I have to do. Right, so we've learned nothing on this particular trip, but playing partially translated broadcast. extra attention, to be honest, but um, I'd rather not. Can we say we did and then not? <sighs> you know what? We're taking a break right here, and then we're going to try something else. Here's the plan. We know that the Degasi crew was looking for a new habitat. And the location for that is right here, 250 meters down. It's just on the edge of our depth. And we also know that LifePod 17, Ozzy's LifePod, was stranded near a cave system. I'm thinking that these two things are connected somehow. And I do remember there being magnetite in the cave system. So 
We're gonna have a snooze for the very first time on our new bed. And uh, afterwards, we're going to f go back to life pod 17, delve deeper into the caves and search for magnetite and maybe find the second Degasi habitat. Yeah, that's it. So I'll see you in a bit. Um, Turn off the lights when you leave, would you? Thank you. See you soon.